Hey you, this is Jasim from Code with me and in this video we are gonna be discussing about the introduction and installation of Python. And by the way, this is the first video of Python for Beginner series in my channel. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so this video is split up into two parts, the introduction part and the installation part. So first I'll be discussing the introduction part where I'll discuss why you should choose Python. Okay, why Python? So I have come up with five different reasons why you should choose Python. The first one being it is the fastest growing programming language according to Stack Overflow. Okay. The second one in the list is it is the most wanted programming language according to Stack Overflow again. Okay, so this is the second most reason why you should choose or you should learn Python. Now the third one being it has got a very clear and elegant syntax, much like English language. And the fourth reason, it is a best friend for beginners and a beast for experts in programming field. And it is because of its clear and elegant syntax that Python is loved by beginners as well as its extensive community support and uh, numerous libraries, it makes a powerful language for experts in the programming field. Fifth reason why you should learn Python is because it powers cutting edge technologies like artificial intelligence and its subparts like machine learning, deep learning and you know other sections like big data and all. So if you want to stand apart in the crowd, you should learn Python. So this is all about the introduction part and, and we are gonna move to the next part that is the installation part. So as, well, as far as the installation part is concerned, it is very simple and straightforward. You could just go to python.org, the link for I will provide in the description and you can hover over the download section and you could download Python from here. Of course, if you're using other uh, operating systems, I'm, here, I'm using Windows, if you're using Mac OS or Linux, you could download the appro appropriate version, uh, sorry, the appropriate uh, Python for that. Okay, as far as the version is concerned, you could download the latest version for uh, wh uh, whatever be the version I'm using, you don't have to mind that, you just download the latest version. So I'm not going to show you uh, the installation parts because it's very simple, like you could click uh, next, next, next and uh, install, and that's very straightforward. And after the installation, you could just go to start and type in CMD. And in the CMD, you could just do Python and boom. If you see something like this, then Python is successfully installed on your machine. So <clears throat> this is, by the way, an interactive shell where you could write Python code. Uh, so for instance, for an example, I'm going to show you the built-in function, built-in print function in Python, which is nothing but, you know, it just prints whatever we passed into, uh, into it. Okay. So if you click enter, then you could see hello world gets printed out to the output console. Okay. So that's what is the basic print function. It just uh, used for outputting something. Okay. So uh, we are going to exit from the console by using exit uh, function and uh, that's it. Okay. So uh, this is the basic, uh, you know, basic uh, interactive console you could use for basic operations. But we are going to be using a Python IDE called PyCharm, uh, which I'm installed, uh, which I have installed on my system. You could also use VS Code, which is a lightweight code editor. And the links for these two uh, will be provided in the description section, so you can uh, you can download whichever you wish to download. Okay. If you want to follow along exactly with me, then you should download uh, PyCharm. Okay. So with that being said, uh, let's move to, um, I'm closing this, all this stuff and I'm in the desktop now. I'm going to create a new folder and I name it Python. 
and what I'm gonna do is I'm opening my PyCharm uh, it's taking a while so what you have to do is you could click open here and uh, you could uh, select that folder uh, that we have created just now this folder Python um, then you could click OK so which will load this folder in the PyCharm okay so yeah everything went fine now what you could possibly do is I'm gonna create a new file okay for that you just right click uh, this Python folder and click new the new Python file and I'm naming it as main.py now one thing to note is uh, the Python file has an extension of .py uh, which refers to Python so make sure you do uh, in the correct way I'm clicking enter and of course a file gets created now I'm just running the same command or same function we have uh, looked before in the console I'm just printing out hello world now in order to run this Python file what you have to do is go to the terminal tab here or you could use CMD and navigate to this directory and what you have to do is type in Python uh, followed by the file name okay the file name is main.py uh, and click enter and boom we got the output hello world all right so that's what is the uh, installation and the basic uh, command in python uh, the print function so that's the end of this video in the next video we'll be discussing about variables and uh, data types in python so if you have any doubts regarding this video, you could put that in the comment section below. Or uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit the thumbs up button. And um, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll, we'll see you in the next one.